So I'm on a new device because I forgot my phone this morning. Oh, there's the comments. So hopefully I figured this out. All right, I see people starting to come on here. Cool. Yeah, with those iOS devices, it's so complicated. Well, good morning as people are coming on. My name is Brandon. If you are a guest, I'm one of the pastors here at Radiant Life Church. I want to welcome you to the app. We've been on this journey for, dang, it's almost been a month now. And uh, we've just been going through the book of Proverbs and doing a proverb a day sort of thing. Hey, good morning, Karen, Deb and John. What's up, Chris? Good morning, Carol. It's good to see you guys on there this morning. Uh, so I'm super stoked. Um, I actually spent my quiet time this morning in Proverbs 22, because today's the 22nd. And uh, man... <laughs> it's good. So uh, I, I probably do a little more preaching than teaching this morning, but it's not to you, it's to me. And uh, so maybe there's something out of that that uh, will be impactful to you, uh, Lord willing, uh, but it was very impactful to me this morning. So I, there was just one verse that I planned on sharing here this morning, and it's uh, verse 7. But I'm going to be super creative and actually work backwards instead of going in the order that it was written. And I think it'll make more sense here in just a second. So if you got your Bible, uh, Proverbs 22, verse 7, it says this. The rich rule over the poor and the borrower is a slave to the lender. The, bor the borrower is a slave to the lender. Now I've, man, good morning, Amy. Good morning, Donna. Good to see you guys this morning. Hey, I, you know, I've been a slave to debt for a long time in my life. And um, man, think about that, right? Like if you're constantly having to make those credit card payments, if you're constantly having to make the car payments sort of thing, like you're indebted, you have to make those payments sort of thing. And so like, what does it look like to, to not borrow sort of thing from there? I remember going back to my childhood and I was trying to get a new car. I had this $500 beater thing, uh, which I don't even think you can buy $500 beaters anymore sort of thing. But like I had a $500 car. It was a piece of junk. Uh, it wasn't cool. It didn't run well sort of thing. The, the sunroof leaked on it when it rained and I had to put a bungee cord on it uh, to keep it going. And I just remember desiring a new car. And I remember going to my dad and asking him to co-sign on a loan. And my dad, uh, you know, through thought and, and stuff, uh, d did not choose to co-sign the loan for me. Now, I want to back up one verse, verse six. Check this out. Oh my goodness. Verse six, start a youth out on his way. Or another way to say that is train or dedicate. Uh, the Hebrew language kind of opens up that door. But train, dedicate, start your youth uh, out on his way. Even when he grows old, he will not depart from it. Now you could fast forward over to Ephesians chapter 6 and in verse 4 and Paul talks about like, hey, the, hey dads, don't get angry with your kids. Train them up in the ways of the Lord. My dad was trying to train me to not borrow money. And, and it was instrumental in my life. Now I want to back up another verse here. Uh, verse 5. There are thorns and snares on the way of the crooked. The one who guards himself stays far from them. I fell into those traps and those snares all the time, right? Like you, you get those mail offers of like, hey, you can get this personal loan for $500 or hey, you can get this loan. You're pre-approved for this loan. You're, and, and I would get snared and stuck and all these different things. 
And, and then it came down to, I want to back up one more verse and then we'll land this plane. Verse 4. Humility, the fear of the Lord, the fear of Yahweh, results in wealth, honor, and life. <laughs> Good morning, Cheryl. Um, I, I don't know that just fearing God and walking with him that we're going to be wealthy. But what I do think is as we seek out God and his will, that we have a healthy fear of him. Remember, wisdom starts with fear of the Lord, right? Um, we, we, we did that all on week one. So go check that out on week one. Um, I think if we have healthy fear, reverence of God, we ask him to guide and direct our steps. I think we will make wiser choices to where we're not going to be enslaved by debt. We may not be the richest compared to, say, Bill Gates or the dude who owns Amazon, but if you pull the lens back off and you look at the world, come on, we're rich, right? Like, if you own a vehicle, it doesn't matter what kind of vehicle it is, you're in the top 5% of the world. How many of you have two cars at your house? Oh, come on, you're in the top 1% now. So hear my heart on this. What does it look like? To not be indebted. Because we're getting ready to go into the holidays. Black Friday's right around the corner. What does it look like to not rack up a bunch of debt this year? Let's not be uh, slaves to the lender. Because think about this thought. If you're not enslaved to the lender, what could you do? And that, just pretend for a moment that you were debt free. That you didn't have a car payment. That you didn't have a credit card payment. You know, that two, that four, that $600 payment each and every month. Imagine if that was still in your bank account. But imagine if you could save some. But imagine the money that you could give away. Oh, come on. Now, see, this is where the preaching's coming in. This, this is how it impacted me is, I, I may not be rich, but if I'm not enslaved to the bar, like if I'm not enslaved to them... Even with what God has blessed me, I can still give. I can still be generous with what God has given me. Whew. That'll preach. That'll preach right there. So don't be a slave. Train your kids up. My dad did that with me. What's it look like to train your kids up? To dedicate them. Help them to understand to not get in debt. Be aware of the thorns and the snares and the crooked path. Allow God and fear reverence of him to make your path straight. And let's just live into that. There's some thought grenades. Think about those things. Chew on those things today, especially as we're going into the holiday season. And uh, that's when we tend to uh, put ourselves even deeper in debt. Now, hey, there's been times we've offered life groups. There's a wonderful resource out there called I Was Broke, Now I'm Not, written by Joe Sangle, pretty awesome dude, super passionate dude. There's resources uh, from Dave Ramsey and Financial Peace. If you've got questions, you like, you, you like, I just need help. Like, I get it, I'm convicted, but I'm paralyzed. I don't know how to get started. Hey, just, just message the church, email Brandon at The Radiant Life. I'll get you connected with some people uh, that want to coach and walk with you in that. Uh, but there's some food for thought there, friends. I, there's a whole bunch of little nuggets in there. Uh, we'll see what Holy Spirit does with that. Hey, let's pray and let's just go tackle Thursday today. Heavenly Father, thanks for all my friends here joining me on Facebook and then later on YouTube. Uh, Lord, thanks for all these friends. Lord, I pray that your word would inspire thoughts within us. So whether it's not being in debt or just being aware of the thorns and the snares in our life, maybe it's uh, the way that we need to train or dedicate our kids to you. Uh, Lord, whatever that might be, I just pray that we come to you in humility and reverence to you and respect. And Father, we surrender our wills, our agenda, our choices over to you. And we ask that your will be done here on earth. Thank you, Jesus, for this morning. Lord, thanks for my friends. I pray a blessing over them. 
I pray that Holy Spirit, that you would just make yourself evident to all of them today, wherever they're at. And I pray this in the powerful, matchless name of Jesus and all of God's people said, amen. Hey friends, have an awesome day and we'll see you later.